Sean Keating. I'm going to talk a little bit about gold, uh, the lost art of gold. A lot of newer doctors out don't really prescribe it, and I really feel it's important to let the patient know that gold is probably still one of the best restorations that you can do for a patient. Obviously, they don't like the white. They like white color and all that. It's hard to get them to go with the gold, um, especially on the lower and stuff. But anytime it's an upper second molar back, you should probably use gold. Um, it's never going to break. You're never going to have a shade problem. And it pretty much will go to the grave with the patient. It's still one of the best, longest lasting restorations you can put in the mouth. The big thing with gold is you like to keep bevels on your preps. You don't really want deep shoulders. You want to kind of bevel your finish lines everywhere. Full cast, we do them all day long. We do a type 3 gold alloy, that's a 60% gold. And we do a type 2 alloy, which is JRVT, which is a 77% gold. I like to go with full cast the type 3. When I'm doing onlays, I like to go with the type 2. And a lot of times with the onlays, you can just shoe the cusp. We do a lot of inlays and a lot of onlays, but you can shoe the cusp and still have some of the aesthetics from the smile line that you'll still see enamel there, but there's nothing better than gold out there. And sometimes you have to let the patient know what's best for them and not what they want. White and cosmetic is beautiful in the anterior segment, but when you start going posteriorly, you really want to cusp gold, cover your onlays with gold. Um, it really works well. Don't forget gold. It's one of your best restorations ever. Thank you.